welcome back to my channel. I'm Bethany, also known as Bethany PA Teacher on Instagram and Bethany Lewis Freelance Performing Arts Teacher on Facebook. Today I'm going to do the Summer Teacher's Question Tag. So, let's get into it. But first, before we get into it, I just wanted to say a big hello to everybody. I hope you're all having a lovely summer. Um, and even if you're still working, having a great time at work. Um, I just also wanted to say a massive welcome to our new subscribers. I have noticed that we have gained a few more subscribers than we had before, which is amazing. Welcome, I hope you enjoy the content. And um, Instagram, I've now hit over 800 followers, which I've actually been looking at um, my YouTube statistics and most people at the moment are coming over from Instagram which is amazing so welcome like I say I hope you enjoyed the content um, and yeah please feel free that if you like this video click on that like button down below as well as the subscribe button comment say hello and share to all your friends I would love to grow my channel over the next few weeks few months even the next year um, but yeah I hope you're all well and let's get on with the video Okay, so I am doing today something a little bit different. I am going to be doing the summer teacher tag questions. Um, so I found this um, from Miss Ross here on YouTube. I will link her down below. Uh, she's also on Instagram. She's a teacher. I saw this and I thought, what a great way for some of you who may be new here to get to know me. But then also, um, if you have been around my channel for a while, it'll do. Um, do me and your favour to get to know um, me a little bit more um, and what I do and what I've got planned for this summer. So, we are going to go through the questions, I'm going to answer them. I've not overly planned this, so it is going to be a little bit of a wild video. And then I'll edit it, get it up on YouTube, and if you want to have a go at the summer teacher tag, which I believe is also a hashtag, then you can do that as well. I'll leave all of the questions down below, along with the hashtag, so you can find any other teachers who've done this as well. Um, and I'll also leave the original uh, creator of the summer question teacher tag. Um, really, I just said that in the wrong way, but it's okay. So I'll leave all of that information down below, and let's get on with the questions. Okie dokie, so number one is where, what do you teach? So, for those of you who may be new here, I am currently a freelance performing arts teacher, um, although that is going to change in September where I become full-time employed at a school, um, a high school, and it is going to be, and I don't think I've actually mentioned this, it's going to be a supporting role within the school. Um, I'm very excited to disclose more information about that very soon, um, but I have mainly been teaching in Staffordshire, um, maybe a little bit further sometimes, but that's generally um, where. So what I've been doing for the past three years is um, performing arts, teaching, performing arts, singing, musical theatre, and I have been loving it, but I'm ready for a new adventure of teaching something a little bit different in September. Okay, number two. How much of your year was fully remote versus hybrid versus fully in person? So just to let you know, I have got the questions in front of me here just so I can get them all right. So, um, and I will also leave the questions here. Um, so that you can see them as well. So, um, I, last year was really, really strange for me. So if we start from September, I was working um, as a cover pastoral leader from September till October. I then did agency cover supervision from kind of October to December. Now, I worked the whole of that period, but there was a lot of times where um, schools were shut in um, due to having to isolate um, due to COVID and going online. But I was very lucky from September to December that it was all great. I had a contract prepared ready for January and I did not go into that contract until March. So in terms of from January, January till March, I did no in school uh, cover work or anything like that. I was just at home. Um, and then kind of from March until kind of now, um, or up until the end of term, I was working again. So 
very mixed and match. Obviously, now we are working with, or were working with provisions in place. They may change in September, um, but I was back being a pastoral uh, cover again at the end of this term, which I loved. Um, and basically, I was actually quite lucky because of my freelance stuff that is still staying with me until um, September, is that I was still able to work online. So even though I had that chunk from January until March, I was still doing online classes, I was still having to do admin, emails, etc. So even though I wasn't on agency work at that time, I would do my freelance um, online working like That was very useful. I hope that all makes sense, that's very crazy, <laughs> I realise. Um, but yeah, that's the answer to number two. Okie dokie, moving on to number three. What are you planning to do on the first weekend of your summer break? Now, we're way past the um, first weekend of summer break because I've seen this really, really late on, but that's not a problem. I can just tell you what I did. I'm pretty sure I did nothing. I may have been teaching on the Saturday at Stagecoach um, for our final day. Uh, before summer, but actually, I think, yeah, that was right. Yeah, I was teaching stagecoach on Saturday, and then I did nothing other than see family on the Sunday. I just had a really chill day, did nothing. I'm always so tired at the end of term due to the sheer amount of running about that I've done throughout the term. So, um, I virtually did nothing, visited family perhaps, and had a wonderful day, but um, yeah. I'm at that first weekend back and actually I don't think I did much the whole week that first week rough. <laughs> Number four, how does your summer morning routine differ from your school year morning routine? Okay, so mainly the biggest difference is I'll have a couple of extra hours in bed. Um, when I'm working in term time, I'm normally getting up between half five and six o'clock. Um, but then kind of, I haven't been getting up till maybe half seven, eight o'clock um, when I am at home. So the main differences are obviously kind of my main intention when I get up um, in a term day is to get ready and leave, leave the house. Uh, whereas actually, um, I've been really taking time to fill out my gratitude journal, uh, taking time to actually probably wake up in the morning, have a proper breakfast, um, make the bed, that kind of thing. Really, really enjoying home life and just being here and enjoying here um, is probably the main difference. Skincare routine is also a lot longer um, than when I've got up the shower door. Makeup routine, I can spend a little bit more time doing that. I can watch a little bit of television in the morning. Any teachers love this morning in the summer holidays? I definitely do. So yeah, it's just having a little bit more time to do things or just doing things that I don't normally get the chance to do, like watching television, having a little bit of time, more time on my makeup routine, things like that. Okay, number five, what is on my read list? So I'm gonna start with this very simply with what I'm reading now. Now I know that's not the question, but um, I just wanted to show you because it'll prompt what I'm gonna be going forward. So um, I've currently got Good Vibes, Good Life by Beth King. I'm literally only just started this. I am uh, 50 pages in. So I'm gonna be reading this and want to get through it pretty quickly. Um, but then I've also got to read after the sequel which is also by Dr. King, which is Healing is the New High. I would also like to read The Flat Share and The Switch. So I've not actually bought The Flat Share yet because I've not been able to get a hold of it, but I have bought The Switch, so I'll be wanting to read those as well. And also, if I get time to read all of these things, I might even do this before I start reading the sequel of the Beth King book. I am wanting to get into some children's fiction. Um, just to prepare for my new job and I think it will allow me to stay really updated with children's fiction and what will be in and what's new and what's current um, because that will relate to my new job so um, reading some children's books you know what I think that would be great for me I've never felt overly confident with reading so I think maybe taking it back to some of the more kind of action adventure um, and fairy tale stuff would be Awesome. I think I'm going to really enjoy it. If you've got any recommendations for children's books or authors that are new and current for uh, children's books, then please comment them down below because I'm super new to this and will be needing some help. 
Okay, what is on my watch list? So I am not a big watcher of television. Um, I'll watch this morning, I'll get into series, um, but because I just don't have the time when I'm in term time, I don't really watch much. My partner and I have just finished The Big Bang Theory, which oh, I wish just stayed on forever. I loved it. I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I loved it. Um, then Love Island came. Now that is on my watch list every night um, over the summer holidays. Anybody else watching Love Island, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, and then actually this prompted me to have a look at my, um, got hair on my phone, um, my Disney Plus watch list. So on here, for example, I've got a lot of um, like Disney behind the scenes, so behind the attraction, there's uh, Marvel Studios Legends, all of the Marvel films I'm wanting to watch before September, before I go back. Last night, I literally just watched Ant-Man. So that's how far along I am. I'm excited to get the whole way through. No spoilers, please, below. Um, Taylor Swift doc documentary, Folklore, I'd like to watch that. Now this, I'm really, really sorry. Um, I've not actually managed to watch Soul on Disney, so I really want to watch that. Um, and yeah, I'm just, all of the Disney classics are on here as well, and things that I haven't seen in a while. I'm also currently watching um, Hannah Montana from the beginning, I've also been watching Lizzie McGuire from the beginning, and just Cheetah Girls, all of those like classics that I used to watch when I was younger, and I, I love it. Um, so mainly Disney Plus, uh, Love Island, and yeah, I think that will be it for me watching, really. Okay, number seven. So, number seven is what have you been putting off for months that you hope to do during the summer? So, concentrate more on YouTube and Instagram, going to the gym. They're my three targets that I really, really want to um, actually catch up on and make sure that I've got lots of content ready for September, um, just to, to not put any pressure on myself in September. Um, obviously then we've got the gym. I just, I kind of fell out of it at the end of the term. I think I was just too tired and the motivation wasn't there. But now I have got all the free time. I actually love going to the gym. I find it's really good for my mental health. Um, so yeah, that's actually uh, my top three kind of priorities. Although I guess you could kind of put social media under one bracket. Also, actually, which will come under another question as well, is uh, catching up on my ADPA. Really, really important. I want to get that done by the end of this year. So, um, lots of research. You might have seen on my Instagram that I have been doing a lot of research already and just doing the best that I can with that, really, whilst I've got the free time. Okay, so, number eight. Do you have a summer job or side hustle? Yes, technically, I'll count my freelance as... Um, side hustle so I've been doing that in the evenings so I've been doing that Tuesday and Thursday evenings that will continue until September and then that will finish um so that's kind of been my side hustle normally this time of the year I also do summer schools as well um but my job actually starts on the 31st of August and I've got two induction days so my term is actually starting a lot lot earlier than it normally but it's probably middle to end of September um so that's kind of that question answered I guess so um, kind of but ending soon um, and hopefully next year I'll get to do lots more summer schools and things like that. Number nine um, what is your ideal self-care summer day? Um, actually this is quite a hard question because I think a lot of people will go along the road of like having a day to yourself like watching films like pamper um, and you know what I'm actually I like being outside I like being with family, I like shopping, I like days out, going to the zoo, that kind of thing, and that really, really helps me, being around family, and yeah, that would be my ideal self-care day, I think, like just being with family or friends, shopping, um, maybe even going to the cinema, being able to take, take yourself away um, from your situations at the moment, like being distracted, that's always my kind of self-care where I know that my brain's not going to overthink because I'm just being kept occupied and busy, that is how I like it. I'm not too much of a person who can sit down and for too long and just sit and watch something or I find it really hard to sit down for a 15 minute day I've got to be honest. Um, so yeah, something day out, going to the zoo, love that. Okay, 
Okay, number 10. What is your favourite thing to do outside? I think I've just answered that question. I love going shopping, going to the zoo, and um, walk. Honestly, um, I'm so, so lucky to live near kind of lots of parks and fields and beautiful, beautiful areas. I really, really took advantage of that last year and really found a love for walking um, and walking around those kinds of areas. So um, yeah, that's kind of what I love doing. Outside, what is my favorite thing to do inside? I love coloring, online shopping, um, I like keeping everywhere tidy and organised. Um, gym, can you count the gym as being inside? Or I like exercising from home, you could call that. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the vibe that I'm going for inside. I do like to do my makeup and stuff and like film YouTube videos as well, obviously. Okay, number 12, the last question. What professional development do you want to do, if any? So, like I say, I've got my ADPA this um, summer that I want to try and get as much done of as possible. Um, but then I've also got this whole situation regarding a new job. So they could ask me to do courses at any point. I want to make sure that all my safeguarding, my um, first aid are all up to date, things like that. I know that there's been a couple of people on Instagram who have been saying about mental health courses, things like that. Um, so I'd love to do something like that, definitely. But my ADPA is taking priority over the summer. Okay, so that is the end of my video. Hopefully this is a little bit of a quicker video than usual, but it just gives you an opportunity to get to know me, to get to know what I'm doing over the summer, and I would love to hear what you're doing over the summer as well. So please comment down below what you're getting up to, as well as um, any other questions that you might have that you want me to ask, uh, want me to answer, or anything like that. Just pop it down below. I will, of course, as I said before, link person who I saw do this first that encouraged me to do it um, and nominate anybody who wants to do it. I will also pop the creator down in the description box below with the hashtag summer teacher tag so you can go and check out all of the videos as well that have been created by other teachers and see what they're getting up to. Um, I do realise this is a little bit late on in the summer to be doing this but I thought it might be fun anyway. If you have enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment and subscribe and share this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!